What's up guys? So on Friday's video, even though the entire market was in extreme fear, we broke down a few different reasons and scenarios why we could see some sort of bounce back at the levels that we were at on Friday. So far, the bounce back is looking very nicely. As you guys can see here, we actually have a green candle this week so far, but we did set some new lows. We set a new low right below $40,000. It was actually at $39,650. So in today's video, we will also cover the Wyckoff accumulation schematic. Like we spoke about on Friday's video, we expected that bounce here, and that's exactly what's happened so far. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, guys, so let's jump right into this Wyckoff accumulation schematic. If you guys don't know what this is, I made a tutorial on this, which I will link here on the video as well. Basically, I explain exactly what the Wyckoff schematics are and how they work etc etc so far the way that it is playing out we have that bounce right here that we spoke about we did set some new lows um yesterday i believe it was at 39,558 ish 39,600 depends what exchange you were on those levels will be a little bit different and because we went that low it did wipe out a lot of these orders that we had down here so remember that we had this buy wall down here so you'll see that the buy wall worked right it shot the price as soon as the price came down here it shot the price right back up so it did break through for about a second but that's about how long it was before the prices got shot right back up and you see this candle here kind of that pin bar candle that is a bullish candle, um, you know, possible reversal candle there, which leads us to today. Today, we've had a pretty bullish day. We're up about two and a half percent. And of course, it had a lot to do with uh, Jerome Powell's. He spoke today. He spoke about stable coins and the central bank stable coins that they want to bring out. And, and he said that that he believes that both coins could coexist. So that was pretty bullish. Um, and overall, just the markets, he said, I believe he, he kind of said all the right things to calm investors down. And the markets overall were in the green today. Now, I believe tomorrow we have some inflation data that will be coming out. So we got to see what happens with that. So back to this accumulation schematic here, um, basically what we're expecting here, and if the, this were to play out the way it's supposed to, we would see a bounce back up over the next couple weeks putting us somewhere at the top here towards the end of January. And then we would expect some sort of rejection at that point that takes us back down to current levels here. Kind of a uh, one final retest before we can finally continue up and set up a new um, all time high. So if you go back in time to May, June, July, we see a very similar pattern here. And although I don't have it set up right now, this was very similar to that accumulation schematic where we had the big drop. Then we had a automatic relief rally. We had a test of support here, which is currently more or less where we are right now in the current schematic. And then we had the push back to the upside that took us back up here to around that 40 to $42,000 before getting rejected. And that's when we had the spring. So if you come back over here, it's very similar. This drop was a little bit faster, but we can still pump up here before then getting this spring down here. You'll see that the spring didn't just automatically run back up. It kind of went up and then it kind of grinded back down, tested these levels again here, and then it finally took off. So we could definitely see something like that. It does. This is not going to play out exactly as drawn. Um, unfortunately, it's not that easy, but um, we should expect some type of thing like this. Now, if we zoom out to the weekly, you can see here that this is still intact. You'll see that we tested this lower support, but we're now getting uh, that bullish pin bar, bullish hammer, and getting that bounce back up. This is the same support that held over here. This is the sending support is the same one that held over here. So another thing I spoke about on Friday's video, and I also spoke about it in my private group, is the fractals that we are currently seeing here between this time period right here and this time period right here. 
If you look at it, it's basically the same thing, just in a shorter amount of time. So to start it off, price went up, set a new all time high before having a pullback and it set a new low here as a support. It set a new base where then we continued the run up with. After setting new all time highs, then we got this massive, massive pullback and we never went below the support that was previously set. So now if we take a look at where we're currently at, we moved up, then we had a pullback here. We set a new support here, which also happens to be the top of both of these ranges, continued up, set up a new high, and then again had another massive uh, pullback here. Now using that same support that we set up here on the previous pullback earlier. Both times we had a flash crash. Both times we swept the flash crash lows. Both times so far we've been bouncing off the previously set support here. Both times we've used this ascending support here as another place to bounce as well. Currently we're still there. And both times the RSI bounced around 42. Currently, we're getting that same type of bounce right around 42. So if you put this together with the Wyckoff accumulation schematic, I think we can build a very strong uh, case here where we should be seeing some sort of relief rally where we push back to the upside. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that we're just going to get this breakout and move up to set new all time highs right away. But we should be seeing something like this where we at least go up here and uh, kind of stick in that area before then having that continuation up. Now, I'm not going to cover too much on the bearish case scenarios. I think you guys already know most of the case scenarios. I think most YouTubers at this point, most people on Twitter are very bearish and fearful and they're covering those for you. So you can probably check them out. Like I told you guys, as long as we stay above this range of 40 to $42,000, as long as we stay above these supports, I will continue to be bullish on Bitcoin. And um, I think that the overall trend is still intact and we can uh, continue up from here, set up new all time highs um, at least one more time. For trade setups, um, I'm kind of staying away from leveraged trades right now. I think now what the best thing to do right now is add to your long term positions in, um, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, any other projects that you really believe in that are on sale right now. Now's the time to add on to those positions. If we get above forty five thousand dollars, I'll start looking for some leveraged trades again. But until then, I'm just adding on to my long term positions. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you have any questions about anything that we covered today, of course, drop it in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.